Hey guys, Corruption here. Welcome to episode 19 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So, in this episode, I want to build my Hall of Fame, Villager Breeder, and the Villager Trading Hall. And I've done something off camera, guys. You know how, like, every episode I have to go mining for wood? Well, I don't think we have to mine in for wood this episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is dig out a massive hallway for my Hall of Fame. Whoa, what's this? Oh, this is my zombie XP farm, never mind. You know what, I think to here will be fine anyway. Not as big as I wanted it to be, but I'm sure it'll still be fine. I kind of want the roof to be quite big. Maybe like that. Let's dig out the walls. I genuinely thought I found a zombie spawner or something when I saw that. I think that'll be the size of it. And I think what I'll do is I'll build the archways first. So let me grab some spruce wood. And I think I'll build them every five blocks apart. So that's where they will be. I'm also going to fill this back wall with some oak wood. Grab some spruce stairs and slabs. Place some stairs on the archways. Okay, I think that'll be how big the archways are going to be. So let me build the other one over here. Also, sorry about the zombie noises, guys. Let's also strip the logs. I'm also going to put some oak stairs right here, over here, and finally right here. And up here, I'm going to put some oak wood on all of the sides. Oak slabs right here, 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 and finally here. Place the lantern here and here. Get rid of all these walls and replace them with oak planks. Oh, I found some emeralds. Nice. I feel like I have the same reactions for everything. Whenever I find emeralds, it's like, oh, I found emeralds. Nice. And there we go, the walls are complete. Now let's get it to the floor, place stone brick right here and here, and then this main floor will just be made out of spruce. There we... oh, why is it always one? I haven't really explained what's actually going to go in here. So basically, all you got to do is press subscribe, comment below your YouTube username, I might just put you on a sign in here. And on this back wall will be like the OG fans, so the ones that have been here from the very beginning. For example, Stickman Plays, Gol Gol, Frogmaster, all those type of people. I really appreciate you guys, by the way. So yeah, you guys will be at the back here. All your names will be on signs, and you can customise your signs by comment below, like what dye and what, like, if you want a glowing sack on it. And yeah, it's just to show you can have a little something on my world. So press subscribe and comment below your YouTube username. Anyway, that's that room done. Next up, I'm going to do the villager breeder, because my villagers right now, they don't really have a home. So I'm going to dig out another room. Oh, what have I dug into this time? It's the staircase. No. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so because the staircase right here, I think I'm going to go this way and this way. Well, look what I found. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to say the same thing every time. So I think there'll be an archway here. Let's fill this wall with some oak wood. This is only the villager breeder, so I don't have to decorate it too much. So I want the trading hall to be very, very cool. So the plan is, I need about 70 villagers in my villager trading hall. Which means I need 70 beds. And right now, I'm, I, I do not have enough room for 70 beds which is going to be a bit of a problem and also i can't really go too much further in this direction because that wall's there but i think i have a plan so in here will be like a load of beds and also this room will be a load of beds and at the back here there'll be a miniature farm for my farmers so they can breed villages okay and for in here i've kind of went for a bit of a fancy design even though i said i wouldn't decorate it too much but i got a bit too carried away now let me decorate the floor and the floor is complete in this little bit and I don't have to do it in here because there'll just be dirt with a couple crops on top. Now I'm going to build these rooms. And I want them to be quite big because this will be where the beds will be. I think I can only build them this big because this wall just goes outside. And this wall goes into the Hall of Fame. Which isn't that great. And I want them to be symmetrical. Otherwise it'll just look a bit weird I think. I think these walls will just be oak wood. Up here I'll post some oak stairs. Over here will be stone brick. And on the other side. And I think I have a spruce beam kind of going across the middle like this. And I think I'll place a stair there and a stair there. A stair there there stair there smoke slabs in the middle i think that will be the room so let me just copy that onto this side bam oh yeah let me grab a little bit of dirt then we'll put water right there top it with a spruce slab i kind of want this roof to be a little bit more decorated than it is right now and to do that i think i first of all want to get rid of this i think every two blocks i'll place some spruce support beams which will then go into the walls to create like mini archways. I think you guys can tell I like archways by now. On these blocks I'll place some oak stairs. I like that. Like that. And then some oak slabs right here. Let's not forget, let's strip the logs over the ground. Now I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do for lighting. Which obviously I'm going to use some lanterns. We're really running out of iron. Let's spend it all on lanterns. There we go. 21 lanterns. So let me place them around. And there we go. This place ain't quite done yet, because I need to farm some carrots to then plant down in here. And I think at the back right here, I'm going to place a barrel to store the carrots. And that's what we use to breed the villagers. I'm also going to quickly chuck a load of rubbish into the auto sorter. There we go. Grab some bone meal, turn it into white dye. I'll explain why in a second. And let's craft a load of beds. Not for never right mining montage just yet. I'm also going to turn them white, just so we don't have a load of mismatched coloured beds. 
I think a shield box and a half will do just for now. And I've just got to figure out where I'm actually place them all. I think I'll have them here, here, same over here. And obviously that's not nearly enough beds, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm also going to craft four composters. And I think I'm going to place them in here. There we go. And obviously this is only 20 beds, which is like three villager jobs. So I'm going to have 10 librarians, four farmers, and then two of every other job. I mean, I have an idea, but it just might not work. I mean, first of all, we, we can place a few beds up here. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. I'm also going to place some gates here so the villagers can't get out. I think that's all the beds we can pretty much place here. But if I get rid of this, same on the other side, get some spruce stairs. I think you guys know I'm going with this. Let's make another section underground. I guess we already are underground, but you know what I mean. Okay, so this is the design I came up with. If we go down here, it'll just be a decently sized room full of more beds. I need to work out how many beds I'm actually going to need in this whole thing. So give me a second. Okay, so I think this room only needs to be three blocks long, if my calculations are correct. Which they might not be. What the hell? I was about to say, why is there a gravel block up here? And this guy just scares the hell out of me. Honestly, Endermen are just scaring me in this let's play. Just go away. Last episode, this Mr. Enderman was stealing my blocks. Now he's placing blocks. Get out of here. Die. Anyway, let's go back down here and just continue decorating. Okay, so I've done the walls. Now I've just got to figure out the design for the roof. I think over here I'll have some oak slabs. And I kind of want there to be like a beam of spruce again. Something like that. You know what? Let's just fill the whole thing with slabs. And I fill these gaps with some oak planks. I'm also going to place a few lanterns. And there we go. I think this is complete. So let me do the same thing down here. Okay. And there we go. The room is complete. And hopefully I haven't miscalculated the amount of beds that I need. And now it's time to get the villagers down here. Which might be a little bit difficult. I think I'm just going to make a temporary staircase right over here. And yeah, the villagers are literally right here. So it might be quite easy actually. So let's let them out of here. And hopefully they go down the stairs. I think what I'll do guys is I'll come back when all the villagers are down there. Um, my bad. Hopefully that guy didn't have anything too great. It wasn't the mending guys, so I don't really care. Whoa! It's another thunderstorm. I'm just gonna go to sleep because I don't want my barn to burn down or something stupid. Anyway, I'll come back when all these villagers are down there. Oh wait, they're all just going down there. I'm gonna quickly craft three more lecterns because I want ten librarians instead of six. It was seven until... So yeah, I'm just gonna place these over here temporarily. Oh wait, they can get out if I do that. Let me quickly break them again. And I'll place them here instead. Get out of my way. I still don't know what villager I actually killed. I think it was my silk touch one. Which doesn't really matter because I'm going to redo most of the villager trades anyway. So some of these people will probably die. But yeah, let me give them some carrots. And then they should start breeding. Hopefully. I see their farts. Oh yeah, we've got one baby villager. Oh yeah. It's like episode 6 all over again. Anyway, whilst those guys are making babies, I'm going to dig out my trading hall. I should also block this off now. No, 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 no. As I say it, there we go. Oh my god, it's a little cat. I think we should tame the cat, guys. Let me find some fish. There we go. There he is. Come here, bro. Oh yeah, we've got a cat. Instead of letting you guys name him this time, I, th I think I'll give him a name. I'm going to name him Betts. If you know, you know. If you don't, don't worry, guys. Now I've just got to push him into my house. I should make like my pets like its own area or something. There you go. Betts and Twinkles. Okay, so this isn't the size of what it's actually going to be. But I thought I'd come back and show you guys what I'm doing. So, in these little tunnels, well, they're not really little tunnels, they're going to be little mini rooms. The village will stand here, and its job block will be there. And then you can just trade with them through the little gaps. Okay, so that will be the actual size of it. So let me just get rid of the wall. BAM! That is quite a big hallway. But just imagine how cool it's going to look when it's done. And I think at the back here, I'm going to make another little room. And this will be like a mini storage room to put some, like, stuff to trade. It's like sticks, paper, emeralds, all that sort of stuff. Wait, is this the outside? Oh, no way. <laughs> We're so close just to bursting out the side here. And I think the amount of villages that I'm actually going to need is 36, not 70. And I think in here, I'm, gonna have to, I'm just going to mine out the floor, and then I can build it. So I want it to be out of spruce and bit stone brick right here. So also mine out the floors in these. And I think on this block there'll be some stone brick. Oh my god, how many babies are in here? I left them for a second. They've been very busy. Anyway, in here I'm going to place a spruce slab in every single one. And then for the main floor, it's just going to be spruce. Let me get rid of these blocks right here. And replace these blocks with spruce wood. Now let's get to these blocks. And I think I'm going to extend these spruce logs going up a bit further. And I don't believe it, guys. I'm out of spruce wood. I had like five stacks of logs. I do have an extra 40 logs in here though, so I'll just use them. Hopefully that's enough. I think on this block I'm going to place an oak planks right here. And I'm going to make these archways go like that. There's a spruce stair there and there. And a spruce slab there and there. And I think I'm going to build that 
on every single one of these pillars. This could be painful, especially since I've also ran out of spruce wood completely. Let me check off on the babies. None of, none of the babies. Oh wait, no, they did it. Never mind. I was about to say none of them managed to get down here, but there's a little guy down here. But yeah, I think we have enough villagers in here now. So let me plant a few big trees. Uh, what the hell, bro? When I throw items, they just disappear. What? What is this? I'm literally X-raying. I found in the X-ray glitch. What the flip? This is creepy. Hello, guys. What the hell? Let's get out of here. What the hell happened, though? I don't know. Let's just mine a few trees. That's the first tree mined. Second, third, and finally the fourth. Hopefully, five stacks of logs should be enough for a few episodes. So let's continue building. Okay, I built all the logs for the archways, and that looks pretty cool. It's like a massive rib cage or something. Not exactly what I was going for, but you know what? I'll go with it. And then let's place the stairs. Nope, I'm placing it on the wrong place. Slabs go here. And then the stairs. Let's do the same to the other side. And there we go, guys. That looks insane. I don't know if I should place a land on every single block. Maybe I should. Let's try that. You know what? That doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's grab some oak wood and decorate between these gaps. I think I have an oak stair right here. And then at the top, you know what? I'm going to do a stair and a slab in the middle. Let me do that for every single one. There we go. And right here, I think I'll have another stair. And then these little rooms will just be oak wood. Now, this could be a little bit painful. Let me do this for every single one. And there we go. That's the trading hall part of it built. Now I've just got to build this part over here. So this is the entrance to it. I've made it look a bit nicer. Probably about that size. If I go any further, I'll probably end up hitting through the ground. On this, hear me out, guys. What if we do go out the other side? Wait, let me just like see how much further we need to go. Hang on a second, guys. Or we just build like a nice little balcony area right here or something. That could be quite cool. And you know what? We're doing it. Okay, so I've built another little archway here. Let me get rid of these walls and replace them with oak planks. Replace chests right here and on the other side. Let's also get rid of this floor and replace it with spruce slabs. Right here will be some more stone brick. Oak stairs up here and on the other side. Place a row of oak slabs right here. And then stairs here and here. Now let's sort this out. Okay, enough for a little while. I've built this. So you know, this is a little lookout area, you can have a little, little look at the mountains. And yeah, it's a nice little addition to the world. And yeah, it looks quite cool over there as well, to be fair. Now it's time to sort all these villages out. So the first thing I do is I'm going to craft all the job blocks I'm going to need. Okay, and that's everything. So now, let's place them all down. Okay, all the blocks are placed down, so each villager should have a job now. So let's just let them all out, except the farmers. Alright, then we've just got to push them all in and trap them. So I'll come back when all the villagers are in the right place. Okay, so it's been quite a while, and I've now sorted out every single villager. And I have to say, this looks insane. Definitely going to help me out when building the Emerald Beacon. As you can see, some villages just aren't upgraded yet. So in between this episode and next, I'll sort out the trades. I should have a couple more blocks of Emerald by next episode. But now, it's time to do what we normally do. It's never right time. And I think this time I'm going to get four shulker blocks of the beds. Because last time it went pretty badly with three. And I'm going to get at least two or three blocks of never right this episode. So let me craft four shulker blocks of the beds. There we go. Well... So I just went into the nether, and uh, this fella's in here, sticking you in a hole. One day I'm just going to find him, and I'll be like, oh my god, I remember that. But yeah, he can just stay on the floor. Let's go on the neverite mining montage. I'm telling you, it's just never going to get old. <laughs> Okay, and from four shulker blocks to the beds, I managed to get a stack and five ancient debris. So let's put it in the furnaces and wait for it to smelt. Bam! Let's turn it on to ingots. We also have another two in here and a piece of ancient debris scrap, which creates two blocks of neverite. So let's place it on our beacon, and that is the first row complete on the beacon. That only took five episodes. Well, at least we have nine blocks of neverite now. Well, progress is progress, I guess. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Remember to comment by your YouTube username and I'll place it on a sign. And what I'll do is next episode, I'll pick one at random. Remember to comment below what colour dye you want to put on your sign. And yeah, I'll see you in episode 20. Peace.